I was wondering the other day, what if the might of the USA mass production machine in World War II decided to build German tanks instead of Shermans? What if they built Tigers? How much more could they have produced than Germany? So I did a bit of searching around and I really couldn't find anything on the topic. So then I collated some darts together, the costs of the tanks that were available, available and tried to convert the currencies to get some sort of uniform amount that I can compare to. Uh, after looking at it more, I really found you can't give a concrete answer. But what I can do is give you a really big fantasy estimate in here, which might be interesting, and also show you the individual costs of the tanks. So before we get into it, just want to show you what the issues are. So the exchange rates, a lot of the nations did manipulate their currency, and they didn't really trade with each other anyway. So it was a bit hard to estimate the conversion to a, a same amount, like a USD amount. Uh, price of commodities are regulated, like the uh, I guess the the iron, and the, the steel, the steel costs. Also, the numbers provided for the tanks, the cost of the tanks, where they are point in time, where the averages. Some of them you only get one amount, so the tanks costs will be different compared to years, and we don't actually know what that point in time was. Uh, labor costs uh, that will be depending on the nation. Also, what what about the slave labor? Germany used a lot of slave labor in the war, and this may not be calculated in the actual cost of the tanks. And also, how do you calculate productivity? So there's lots of different ways uh, tanks get manufactured, like the Henry Ford mass production plants. The Germ Germany used uh, craftsmen at the start of the war, uh, which were much which took a lot longer. Um, and also, the tank uh, complexity. Some tanks can be produced um, in mass production very easily, like the Sherman, where you can't really transfer a very complex tank like a Tiger to uh, mass production as uh, in the Henry Ford machinery plants. Uh, so th those are issues you gotta include. Also, there's other costs, like some of these costs provided, you don't, you don't know, you aren't told that the cost of Tiger is this much and it includes this, includes the ammo, includes the radio, includes the gun, you weren't told that. So. There's only a few few ones where you're told. So let's just now uh, take a look at the data. This is the cost per tank in USD for the 1940 exchange rates. Remember, take these numbers with a grain of salt as we don't actually know what all the tanks costs entail. For example, what we know about the M4 Sherman uh, cost is that it included all the ammunition, all the support weaponry, the radios, etc. where the Tiger cost provider didn't include the actual main gun even. So it really depends on the nation on how they record things and also the other all the other issues I mentioned before and the exchange rate. So it's it's probably better to compare uh, individual nations first to see the comparisons between the tanks and that should give you a, a good estimate of the cost. Um, so the Tiger costs um, one almost 130,000, 130k sorry, uh, 100k for the Tiger one which isn't much difference for a big jump in the quality. Um, that being said, also take in account the year it was produced when it's uh, obviously the quality will be uh, lower in the early stages of the year. So hence uh, the better cost. Uh, the Panther, uh, that's a big standout there. The cost is 46,000 for the Panther. Um, very cheap to produce, but uh, was very good uh, in armor wise and gun and also speed. And wow, that's a big difference in the Tiger or in uh, Men of War, it's about equal. Uh, Panzer IV, almost the same as a Panther. And all the Panzer IVs are pretty much the same as the Panther. That being said, they were all produced a lot earlier. Um, the technology was available earlier. And I guess all these costs of the Panzer threes uh, were during the time when uh, they had craftsmen working in the tank tanks. Um, there's a time, I think in 1943 or 44, where Albert Speer organized uh, the production better um, in efficiency, so that's why the Panther went up in the cost, uh, went down in, in the cost compared to the ability of the tanks. Um, then further down, you got the, the Stugs, uh, pretty good price comparisons, and the Panzer twos. Uh, all that little blue thing is the is the actual weight of the tank. So the Tiger is sixty eight, Tiger two is sixty eight tons, the Tiger one is fifty four tons. It's pretty much all uniform, as you can see. So that's quite a remarkable correlation to the 
actual cost of the tank, except for the Panther. It it's a standout as well, not only in the tank's ability but also in in the weight cost per tank. It's 44 tons, almost the same as the Tiger, but a lot cheaper. So, I'm not sure if that's uh, useful. You, you don't go to a shop and buy um, a fish per ton, or oh, sorry, a tank per ton. <laughs> but uh, interesting to see that uh, correlation. Then you have uh, Russia. IS-3 at 50,000, IS-2 at 43,000. Similar thing to the King Tiger and Tiger, uh, with the price being so close, but the ability of the tank increases quite a bit. Uh, KV-1, 42,000, almost the same as the IS, uh, but obviously it started production in 1940 or so. Uh, T-34s, 32, 85, 32,000. T-34, normal ones, not sure which one it is. I think it's the average, 25,000. Let's go to United Kingdom. So United Kingdom only have two for that we had available. Uh, four, 140,000 to compare to the 40,000 of the Cromwell Centurion. Not much to say there. United States, uh, Pershing topping list, obviously, uh, 83,000. Down to the M18 gun motor carriage at 55,000. Uh, quite similar, the Sherman cost to the actual tank destroyers, here, the M36 uh, Slugger. Uh, M10 as well, a bit more expensive than the uh, 76. The M4 Sherman and 76, very similar in price. Uh, definitely, uh, I think the 76, uh, well, maybe they didn't have enough guns available or something, but it's a good, a good amount, uh, sorry, a good cost benefit for <laughs> getting it a 76 to the M4, I think. Um, so let's just look at the whole picture again, just to compare. Uh, fantasy, I suppose, estimates of uh, comparing to USD. You can see the most expensive for the Centurion. Uh, King Tiger was a bit less, so at uh, uh, yep, 20,000 or so difference. The Tiger coming in third, Pershing in fourth. So ability-wise, looks like the I think the, the King Tiger must might be the most cost-effective there. Then you have the uh, M. 36s all the way down to the T-34s being the cheapest actually in the whole whole bunch of decent tanks, medium tanks. And then you have um, the IS-2 KV-1s in the middle, Panther here. It's quite interesting the IS-2s did cost, uh, didn't cost that much compared to um, the, I guess, what the, the tanks that they're fighting in the field. That, so they're, they're equal to in the field. There isn't too much here other than the Panther. You got the big boys all in the top end except the IS-2 in the center here. So let's look at the uh, total spend on the tanks. Um, yeah, so this is the total uh, USD ex exchange rate, uh, sorry, exchange uh, figures of 1940. You can see the to obviously the M4 was uh, the most produced and they spent one5 5 billion on the tanks. This is the 1940 USD amount, by the way. So convert that to current, it's going to be a lot more. Uh, T-34 was the second most spent uh, tank. Uh, T-34-85 was the next, and the 76. Uh, I guess the, that's the numbers. They spent a lot more on it. Uh, so, yep, you can read that yourself. And go to the next one, which is uh, Fantasy. So... <laughs> So this is if uh, the USA built the Stugs. They could have built 58,000 Stugs if they replaced the Shermans um, for Stugs. But um, obviously take into account that you can't really swap them because the factories would probably be totally different. And some of these tanks probably couldn't be mass produced anyway because they're too complex um, for mass production at the time. Uh, so 58,000 compared to a, um, a good 9,000 or so. So, and also if they produced Tigers instead of Shermans, they could have produced 8,931 to 1,350 1, for the Germans. And uh, lastly, just some other f interesting stats to, to figure out, to, to look at. The M1 Abrams uh, cost 6.2 million USD. This is the current price. I've converted everything to the current US dollar. Um, Centurion was 2.4 million, 2.2 million for a Tiger, 1.7 million to a Tiger 1, 1. 1.4 for Pershing, etc. Hang on, I just want to just double check that. Did I 
do a comparison properly. Uh, well, no, yes, definitely did. Okay, yep, so it is converted to the current USD rates. So anyway, guys, um, oh, on, the, on the right, you can also see an average uh, USA house in 2014 was only 0.2 million. And each of one of these tanks are more expensive than the average house in USD. And another little stat to feed uh, 300 African people in the village for a year is apparently going to cost 131,000 USD as well. So some funny stats to see. Anyway, guys, uh, I just yeah thought I'd do this because I wanted to answer a question myself and play around a bit with the uh, graphs and not not to remember. Don't take this take this with a grain of salt, and uh, hopefully find this interesting. <laughs>